All right. Um, my little give brief little introduction here. I have a 1996 Ford F250, 460, 7.5 liter with the E4OD transmission. I'm having an intermittent, completely unexplainable uh, limp safe or fail safe or sorry about that. Um, goes into like an intermediate limp mode, completely random, completely uh, unpredictable. The only consistency is that um, it, when it gets hot. When it's hot, it goes into limp mode, uh, it shifts extremely difficult, uh, very hard shift, um, and that's about all I know. I've replaced the VSS, that uh, speed sensor on the rear differential. Um, I've this is a brand new transmission. It's got less than 3,000 miles on it, so it's brand new there. Um, what else have I done? That's pretty much it. Uh, I tried dielectric grease on all the uh, fittings that go to the transmission. None of that seemed to help. Um, again, when it's hot, it seems to do it worse. So this is the uh, transmission range sensor. It's on the left side um, of the transmission. Driver's side, you can't really see here, but I'll get you, get a better shot of it. Um, it's kind of my, my last hope. I have a new one. Um, there's this neutral line here. You put the truck in neutral, these two lines line up, you put this on, connect it, and that's it. Um, a lot of videos on how to install this, it's super simple. There's just simply two bolts that bolt on here. You uh, put this arm over here and then the linkage comes and hooks onto that arm. So here's the interesting thing though that I found. I decided just out of fun, pull out my multimeter. Uh, I put it on the ohm setting. I was curious if maybe there was an electrical disconnect. And let me see. Doubt this is going to work, but let's give it a try. Sorry, I'm setting this on a garbage can. So, anyways, here you can see that when the circuit's complete, 0 0.004 zeros across the board. When it's open, 0 point L. So, here's the metal side of the range sensor. Uh, I'm taking a reading on the first and the last pin. Okay, so the first one and the last pin on the metal side. This is the new one. This is a good one. Here I'm getting continuity. I'm getting zero, 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 zero. Okay. When I do the same thing on the other side, the non-metal side, the first and the fourth pin, I get continuity. All zeros. Okay, and there it is open. Now, when I take the old one, what I'm hoping is the bad one, same pins, metal side, first one and the last one, I get open. I don't have a closed system. On the non-metal side, I get continuity, all zeros. So what am I thinking? I'm thinking that I have a short in here somewhere. Uh, a little bit more information, maybe I should have put this up front. When it goes into this limp mode, um, if I turn the truck off, all the way off, and then start back up, it goes away. So it's obviously an electrical problem of some sort, and it will either come back right away or sometimes not at all. So let's go into the truck and I'll show you what I'm looking at. All right. Here we are under the truck. I'm not going to insult your intelligence with the safety briefing about chalking the wheels and all that stuff. Uh, frankly, if you're too stupid to chalk the wheels and crawl underneath it, you probably deserve it. All right, left side of the transmission. This is where the range sensor goes. It plugs in up top here. It screws to these two things here. All right, here is the linkage arm. This is what goes over and connects to that. All right, so you wanna put the truck in neutral, 
make sure, like I showed you, this line is lined up right here. It slips on. I'm going to fill this with dielectric grease first, but it's as easy as that, so that, I'm just going to leave it at that. Uh, if you don't have the mechanical aptitude to do this, then take your truck to a shop because you, you probably don't deserve or belong being under here fixing your own stuff. Anyways, hope that helps somebody else. Um, hopefully it fixes my problem. I don't know. Maybe have a host of other problems, but it's a start. Thanks much.